Good morning and welcome to this episode of Superior Angling. I'm your host Grant Sorensen. If you're new to our channel, check us out on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, fishing year round, ice fishing, and now finally, open water 2020 is here. We are just happy and fortunate to be out here on Lake Superior with everything going on in the world today. It's just nice to be able to be out here and get some lines in the water. So yes, it would be even more nice to be fishing areas like the Rainy River, Lake Erie, down in Green Bay, like lots of good walleye bites going on right now. However, we're sticking it out close to home. A lot of great fishing to be had here on Lake Superior, around Duluth, the Apostle Islands area, like lots of good fishing this time of year. It's kind of a start right now. Now through the next two months is gonna be, it's gonna get, it's gonna get really good. So today our plan is to troll for whatever bites, you know, early season like this, you have to put up with a lot of, a lot of like variables that you don't have to put up with the rest of the year, such as ice, skim ice, uh, your landings are iced up, like everything's more difficult. It was 19 degrees this morning and it kind of still is. Like it's, it's pretty chilly yet, but we are out here. We're going to get some lines in the water. We're going to troll monofilament and maybe one or two colors of lead core using stick baits, spoons, fishing high in the water column for, again, whatever wants to bite, whether it's a coho, a brown trout, a splake, a lake trout. We don't know what we're going to run into today. Um, you've got to have patience this time of year and it's going to have no expectations because you can struggle or you can catch fish. It's just kind of, you don't know what's in the cards for you on a day-to-day -day basis. It can take a while to get a program figured out out here, but we've got all day. We're going to make it happen. Stick with us. It's going to be a good one. Fish, big fish. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Big fish, big fish. Now that's a sweet October musky. Fish, 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 fish. That's a big Atlantic, boys. So in terms of lures that we're gonna use, you know, kind of a wide variety. There's nothing too specific this time of year. You know, your, your scatter apps can work good. Your bomber long A's. Phantom is putting out some great looking daggers. Those are awesome looking baits. They run pretty well, catch a lot of fish. So just gonna run a vari wide variety of stick baits on mono and then spoons on downriggers and our lead core. And when I say lead core, you know, we're not running more than one or two colors. We just wanna be able to get those baits down underneath the surface because a spoon on mono is going to drag on top of the surface so you need some weight to just to get it down five ten feet one or two colors of lead does that job perfectly so we're going to get that out in terms of so kind of here's a lead core setup again we got our mono leader floral or mono yeah mono leader fluorocarbon leader to the lure lead core and then braid back and so four different types of line on this setup but it pays off it fishes well it does well spoon colors you know oranges chartreuses anything bright works good so hopefully our spoons are going to see a brown trout or two our stick baits are going to probably be more salmon but you never know what can happen out here on a daily basis so we're going to get these lines in the water and hopefully it's not going to be too long until we see a fish but you got to really have patience this time of year if you get one fish that's a huge clue one fish means the world you can fish out here for five hours and not catch one but you get that one it's going to be game on um, so really take note and where you do catch one fish it's there for a reason this time of year more so than any other time of the year conditions are tough water's cold find one fish you're going to find more hopefully we'll see one before too long Look at that, that 
board's dragging back. That means it's fish on. Presumably a coho salmon, but that did not take too much time. That's good to see. If you want to slow it down just a tad bit, I like to keep a little bit of pressure off the fish. Sometimes those salmon, especially when it's really cold like this, will kind of just sneak up behind that lure and just mow that back hook. So we're going to be a little more gentle on it. It's going to be a it's going to be a little coho salmon. I can just kind of tell by I mean our coho's on on Lake Superior here, as you guys have seen in our past videos, aren't they're not that big, so they don't put up that crazy of a fight, but. They sure taste delicious, but that's good. That first fish is always your hardest. I mean, you can work so hard to get that first one. And hey, it's a sunny day in April. We're on the boat on Lake Superior. We have a fish on the line. Like, it can't get much better than that. Very, very fortunate. And that there, guys, is a coho. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Look at that, that's awesome. He had good hooks in him. He wasn't coming off. Beautiful. I love it. That first fish is your clue. We now know that there's a group of salmon. There's never just one of these guys. There's always going to be more. We know that there's a pile of them back there. We're going to make a pass back through, get him unhooked, and hopefully see some more of these. But that's a good start. Let's get him unhooked in the live well, in the ice well, I should say. It's cold. And get this lure back out there. Hooked up, Good. hooked up, hooked up, big fish, big fish. Wow, dude. Hey, this is a big one. It's yeah. a big one. Unreal. <laughs> That's crazy, man. <sighs> We're probably halfway into this pass. And It's uh, a big fish, easy, easy, let him run, let him run, let him run. Wow, dude. I've never felt the, the raw power. Do we assume that it's a brown? Yes, or what yeah, we... it's either a brown or a big old lake trout. It's heavy, and here's what we did. We trolled down, we got that one coho and nothing else, which blew my mind. And then we brought in our lead core, brought our riggers up to five feet, and now we're fishing in literally like five to seven feet of water. This inside board goes back. It's a big fish. Yeah, it is, dude. Wow. It's spooky how shallow we are right now. Like, he, he, on Lake Superior he, in five, <laughs> six, seven feet of water, like it's, I think of Lake Superior, I'm like, it's 3,000 feet, dude. <laughs> There's shipwrecks down there. <laughs> what are we doing in five foot of water? Am I back fishing walleyes? <laughs> Look at that thing, man. Keep coming. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go back. I'm gonna, I'm lifting up. You good? We got her. <laughs> we got her, Sweet. baby. My first one ever, dude. Nice one, man. Thanks. This first Lake Superior fish is a nice, I don't know, three, four pound brown. Beautiful. You can't beat that. That's a heck of a fish. So this is my first ever Lake Superior brown trout. Put up a heck of a fight. Uh, I bit that scatter up uh, 120 feet back. And uh, I think he's going to taste really good. Probably a three, four pounder. So heck yeah. All right, so uh, we moved, uh, I'd say, you know, a couple miles down from the last spot we've been trolling. Um, and still fishing shallow, I think we're in 20 foot of water. Um, that fish probably bit in 13, and uh, Buddy's hooked up, so. Finally gonna get a chance here to do the fish in the boat. Probably gonna be a brown in this, uh, in these waters. All right, slow and steady. Beautiful we're gonna get trout, it in buddy. here. Looks like a nicely colored brown trout. Beauty. Just keep him coming towards me, okay? And keep him in the water. Look at him. Look at they... that spunk, they're feisty. That's what we like to see. When they get by the boat, look at that. Oh, she wants to go again. No. All right, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. She's... I'm bringing her to you. Get the scoop, there we go. Oh, what? no. How did that work? <laughs> Does that count as a fish catch? Apparently there's a hole in that. <laughs> oh, okay. All right, man. All right, well, we got to see here. Dude. There's a fish right there on that outside board. I don't know what happened with Aaron's fish. I don't know if that hole was there or if that brown trout put the hole in it once the hooks got caught and it turned. Those browns are so powerful. 
I don't know what happened. Either way, they clearly swam through the net and it all took us by surprise. Good news is, if there is good news from that, two minutes later, we have another brown on. So what we did is this went, we turned around, came right back through that same area, and it feels like a decent fish. And again, as you can kind of see, it's a little bit different water here. Um, you know, our bite that we thought we had figured out quickly died. We made two more passes and didn't catch another fish. So, you know, our theory of the water being a little bit warmer in that mud, you know, yes, it worked for, you know, a half hour where we stuck a couple fish. We lost two actually as well. So, but then that quickly petered out. We made a move and now this is two fish here in a, in a pretty short period of time, thankfully. So, again, it's all about just making hay while the sun shines and finding an area that's good and hot, taking advantage of it, and then it's probably going to die and just moving on and having your, having your spots that you know to go to and catch a few fish. Again, this time of year, straight monofilament line. I think a lot of guys, including myself, it kind of hurts you to use lead core and down riggers because that forces you to fish, you know, deeper than 10 feet. And today, all of our fish have come in water shallower than 10, like shallower than 15 feet, I should say. So just using straight mono, you don't have to worry about getting snagged, getting hung up. It's usually not going to happen and you, it forces yourself to keep fishing shallower and shallower, which I think is a, an imperative part to your success this time of year. A little different compared to your uh, in the lake walleye <laughs> stuff, eh? Yeah, and then, you know, I get the opportunity to, to chase trout, you know, and of course it's, you know, sock laked, mostly rainbows. You know, we do see some browns and then and brook trout as well, but um, it's a pleasure to come out here on a, on a lake like this and- uh, Experience something different. It's, so, it's totally different, it's something new and I, I encourage everyone that's, that's watching this to come out here and try this. I mean, it's a lot of fun. Pick a decently calm day and yep. I mean, they, these fish bite. This is, I mean, they're available all year round, right? I mean, for the most part. Oh, for sure, 100%. And it's nice too with all these islands, you usually have protection from the wind. Beauty. I see it down there. It's, yeah, it's a little bit bigger. Is than that looking like a lake trout? Is it? It is. That's a nice <laughs> lake trout. <laughs> surprise, surprise. You never know what you're cool. going to catch. That's awesome. He's barely hooked. Okay, we're going to get him this time. Get him coming. All right, no holes in this net. We got him. Look at that. That's not a bad laker. Yes, it'd be nice if it was a big old brown, but hey, we'll take it. Yeah. Look at that fish. Not a bad lake trout, huh? You never know what you're going to catch in this area, and that's what I love about it, is you catch a little bit of everything. Here I thought we had a nice six, seven pound brown, instead a nice six, seven pound lake trout. But hey, that's not many, we haven't caught many fish today, but we've already caught three different species, which is it's pretty cool. Again, as we said, when we came out here, we had no expectations on what we were going to catch and what we were going to do today. We'd see a variety of fish, and here we are with a variety of fish. Nice lake trout. Heck of a fight, he's up shallow. That's kind of contradicting to what the majority of lake trout are doing this year and they're still very, very deep. But now is the time when these lake trout start to push up shallow. That's a nice fish. It's summer again at Marine General, and we're here to get you on the water. Kayaks, canoes, and paddle boards, water sports, knee boards, wetsuits, ropes, and leg vests, rain gear, marine safety, electronics of all kinds, rods and reels, trolling motors, rod holders, and all kinds of accessories for your boat, live bait, lures, and a crew that appreciates your Come business. On into Marine When we care about something, it shows. To help protect these things, call on the knowledge and experience of a local independent insurance agent that you know and trust. Some things we just can't afford to lose, and that is why we exist, because the worst brings out our best. Holden Insurance, Duluth and Superior,
This spring, shop the great selection of Lund and Crestliner fishing boats at RJ Sport and Cycle. Our knowledgeable staff is here to answer all your questions and help you get on the water. We sell both aluminum and fiberglass boats suitable for a variety of applications. Full windshield models, side councils, tillers, and more. We sell them all. Don't forget, we also carry pontoons. RJ Sport and Cycle is your leading Lund dealer in the area. Visit us in store or check us out online today. All right, everyone loves a good gear review. This one here is pretty cool. To my right, you can see this four tree rod holder. They are from Superior Welding and Marine located in Michigan. Great product. There's a couple of things that I love about them. You know, we put our, our gear through the paces a lot. We're very, very hard on, on, on our gear. These definitely stand up to the test of time. Number two is the how lightweight they are. Lightweight yet extremely, extremely durable. You know, these weigh about half the weight of some competitors' products out there. Thirdly is the price point. You know, we as anglers invest a lot of money into rods, lures, boats, fuel. You know, sometimes it, it doesn't leave much cash for other accessories such as rod holders. That's where these would come into play. I would highly recommend these if you guys looking, are looking for a great rod holder solution you know under 400 bucks like for for two like i mean these are a great 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 product that i would highly highly recommend um you know an another great benefit is yes this is a four tree rod holder however up on the top i can store another rod completely vertically so essentially i can have five rods in this rod holder so they got a cool little tool compartment here you know check them out online check them out on facebook we stand behind this product. It's a, it's a great durable rod holder that we're gonna use and enjoy this whole summer long and in the years to come. Oh, fish, 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 middle. Beautiful, dude. All right, that's a big fish, Ace. Just hold that, Feels I gotta good. clear our lines. This is chaos Just right now. Just hold them in place here. Yep, 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 yep. Yeah, we're looking good. We are looking good. I knew this water, all right, you can start. I'm gonna slow us down a little bit. Yeah, so uh, what you're saying something about the water color earlier when we were rolling through here. Yeah, this water is very, very nice. Like, it's clear all around us, but there's a little pocket of dirty water right here. And I knew for a fact we were gonna get bit. The conditions were just too ideal not to get bit. And sure enough, we do. And that's what it's really all about on these cold spring days is finding any sign of warmth. Just anything to warm that water up just a little bit. And you're gonna have fish that congregate in it. And now we're in the clear water. We're gonna be making another pass back through that. <laughs> I can, can guarantee bet, you that. You can bet we're doing that. Wow, this thing. What do we got, bud? It's staying deep like a lake trout. It feels nice. It does look like a it lake looks like trout. A, Oh, brown, isn't it? It kind of looks like a brown. I can't tell. Yep, it is a brown trout. Is it nice? Yep, it yeah, is. Yeah, that's a good brown. That's a good brown. It is Hayes. a brown trout. I'm going to lift up. That's a big brown, Hayes. Is it? That's a nice one. Got to step ready? back a little bit for me. Yep, I'm ready. He is in that yeah, leg. I'm going to lift up. Yep. I'm going to lift up. We got him, Hayes. <laughs> yes. Dude. Buddy, that's a big brown. <laughs> yes. That's a big brown. Yes. That is unreal. All right, we're going to get him, get him in the boat before the net gets a hole in it. <laughs> That's a nice brown. <laughs> That's a beauty, buddy. Oh, what an awesome I fish. Love it. <laughs> my, my second one, but I mean, substantially larger That's than the other one. That's a long one, hey? Yeah, it's got to be 26, yeah, that's 25, a, 26 inches. That's a healthy fish. What are you, you addicted to this fish, you know? Like, this is fun, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, you, you, you guys got to try it. This is sweet, man. <laughs> this is really, really sweet. And I'm ecstatic to be able to reel that thing in. Let's go fish. We got our boards on both sides. Our long lines have yet to get hit today. Sometimes it helps if you kind of pump the rod in your hands. We're gonna try that a little bit, but from salmon, I love stick baits. Browns, I have more success with spoons day in and day out, but today we have seen that your stick baits have, have been out producing the spoons. I don't think we've got touched on the spoon yet today, which is out of the ordinary for sure, but 
What a gorgeous day. I mean, spending an April day out here on Lake Superior, it doesn't, uh, you don't get to enjoy a day like this too many times. No, I mean, you can go, you know, north to Canada and stuff and, and get, you know, scenery like this, but, you know, it, what's cool is, I mean, a lot of the lakes, you know, back home have ice on them, um, and so it's just cool to get out in the boat and, and, you know, having a resource like this, I mean, that's in your backyard is really, really special. I mean, definitely. I, we, I've, we've, I've seen what a coho, a, a lake trout, and uh, a brown trout. And my first time ever out here. That's, <laughs> that's pretty cool. So I just got nailed. <laughs> that is so cool, man. <laughs> this is a big fish. I just got throttled. Just saying how I pump it. I got to pump. It. Oh my gosh, that is magical. <laughs> I'm like shaking, like I'm cold to my soul right now because that is so freaky how that just happened. That's wild. <laughs> you, Speaking things into existence. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It is coming alive right now. This morning was kind of a struggle, so cold. And the fish, we just plucked the two off and then our spot died and you know, we've moved around tried a bunch of different things and it's, it's happening, happening right now. So cool. Like This is so much fun. I just can't get over how much fun this is to be out here in a boat. You know, I mean, gorgeous sunshine day, calm winds, light waves, and we're catching fish on Lake Superior in April. You know, unbelievable. I just- you, You're turning me into, I'm gonna have to move from Brainerd right. to- uh, <laughs> right. to Hey, I got an empty room in the house. You're more than welcome. <laughs> This is gonna be a big fish and we're gonna get a look at it here very, very soon. This is on the spoon too. I can't believe how that all just happened. It's a laker. It's a laker. <laughs> that is so cool. Awesome. Oh, go figure. Grant catches the lake trout. I, I love you too. We got a double. I shouldn't say a true double. This guy's still lively. We're gonna get him back. More importantly, Aaron's hooked up with our outside board. It's getting crazy. That could be a very nice brown or another laker, who knows? How does it feel, buddy? Feels pretty good when it rains and pours, so. Yes, and it yeah. is. Where there's one fish, there's more, and you never leave fish. fish to find fish. Pouring fish on us right now, I love it. This is utter madness. This is what, you stick it out all day. Yes, we could have gone home at noon and, you know, figured the fish weren't biting and kind of, you know, but we stuck it out, we stayed with it, the sun is warming things up, and we're putting more fish in the boat. Oh yeah, nice fish. Another lake trout. Another lake trout, we hey, found we'll a- take it. Hey, we found an active school of lake trout up in shallow, which is- There we go. Extremely rare for this time of year for these lake trout to be in 10, 15 feet of water. You know, you think lake trout, you know, and kind of the whole premise of lake trout is they're deep all winter. And this time of year, they start to push shallow. And we're really seeing that right now. That's not a bad fish. All righty, here we go. Another lake trout on a scatter wrap that's been the hot lure today. And these fish just have so much energy and they're just a blast to fight. It's just nothing better than out here. This week's health tip is brought to you by St. Luke's, the patient above all else. My name is Dr. Heather Buchholz, here with St. Luke's Dermatology Associates, here with today's health tip. I'm here to talk about what type of thing you might want to uh, check out with a dermatologist. If you see a mold changing, particularly a dark mole with a changing border or new colors, and it can be darker brown, black, even red, gray, or blue, that would be a concerning feature. And if skin cancer is caught at an early phase, it's easily curable. But if it becomes more advanced and melanomas tend to spread into lymph nodes and then can metastasize, then it could be more serious. And melanoma is actually a more common skin cancer or common cancer seen in younger um, adult population, so it's a serious player, but if you catch it early, it makes all the difference. At Wittis Trailer Sales, customer experience and satisfaction is our top priority. Located in Esco, Minnesota, we stock a full lineup of enclosed trailers, snowmobile trailers, and cargo trailers from brands such as Aluma, Look, Pace, and more. While you're here, shop the largest selection of Mahindra tractors in the area. Our skilled parts and service team is here to tackle all your repair needs. Wittis Trailer Sales in Esco, where customers become friends. Here is one chip here, this one fish, fish, fish. There you go. I like fish that hit on the inside boards. <laughs> Makes it life a lot easier. The fish are telling us to stay. What a day it's been. I mean, just comparing and contrasting this morning to right now and how frigid it was and how difficult everything was this morning, you know, like 
even getting your boat off the trailer is difficult, you know, let alone getting out here and catching fish, you know, when your morning temperatures are, you know, in the teens, it's, it's a lot more challenging, but you put forth the effort, battle through it, and you are going to be rewarded with some gorgeous fish. Yeah, it is a brown. Is it a brown or a lake trout? It is a brown. Barely hooked. You, you walk him in. We got him. We got him, baby. That's a pretty one to boot. Beautiful brown. Look at this fish. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous brown trout. In my mind, these browns don't get enough credit out here. You know, the, the DNR, the Wisconsin DNR, does a lot of stock into these. They're very accessible fish, plentiful and beautiful. You know, they fight like crazy. They fight harder than a lake trout. Not quite the level of an Atlantic salmon, but Man, do they fight hard. What a fish, what a day it's been. We have one more part of this show that we want to air, but we will see you in the truck shortly. Thank you guys for watching. We'll be right back. All right, what a great day on the water we had. We did end up keeping a couple fish and that's kind of where this segment leads into but first i need to introduce my co-host for uh this part of the show that's bubs he is a one-year-old newfoundland he loves fishing his favorite favorite fish is probably smelt he eats a couple smelt a day but so kind of what this is all about is i don't spend a lot of time on social media but I was scrolling through Facebook and saw in a, in a public group that uh, some individual here in, in Duluth kind of put out a post saying due to some certain circumstances that they were no longer able to eat fish. Like they love to fish, but due to these new circumstances, they're unable to go out and fish, and thus they have no fish, right? So I took it upon myself to say, hey, you know, I'm more than happy to help. Usually we just strictly catch and release as well. Um, you know, if mom or dad or grandma, great aunt, you know, if they want fish, I'll, you know, I drop fish off at their house every now and then. But um, we did end up keeping a couple fish this trip and I just, just for this purpose. So we are gonna go to their house, drop these fish off on their doorstep and hopefully they can enjoy some fresh Lake Superior lake trout. Let's go drop these fish off at their house. All right, we had a successful fish drop off. Bubs is our supervisor. They were very appreciative of the lake trout and I know they're gonna enjoy it. Delicious fish, I love it. But if anybody else out there is in need of anything fishing related, you know, shoot us an email and see if we can, we can help. I don't know, maybe you need to borrow a fishing rod if you guys don't have the available, you know, gear to go out there um, during this time and uh, I don't know what he's doing and put some uh you know fish fish on shore in the boat or you know if you guys need some lures or you know anybody in need out there let us let us know and maybe we can uh we can help in in different ways um you never know just uh we're all we're all together in this and we are here to help if we can be of any help so thank you guys for watching we'll see you next time